So this is one of my hives that I discovered yesterday was riddled with wax moth um, that I had to clean out and I also discovered that the hive is actually queenless. So I've cleaned out all the infected frames, uh, left them a few frames of honey that they had managed to create on their own uh, and I'm going to try and requeen it with some frames of brood from another hive but I'm just checking out a YouTube clip someone said that the easiest way to test if a hive is queenless is to have a look at the bees and apparently they sit with their wings out if the hive is queenless and it appears that these guys are actually doing that so there is most probably some truth to that little saying these guys are certainly doing that they look more like wasps the way they're carrying their wings than they do bees so maybe that is a good indicator that the hive is actually queenless So these guys, most of them don't really know what to do, they're just milling around at the entrance. There's still a few bees coming back with a little bit of pollen and there's still a little bit of honey production going on, but certainly their numbers are down and for whatever reason the queen either died or left the hive and I didn't realise it was actually infected with wax moth until it was far too late. But there's still about 2,000 or so bees. Uh, in this box, so I'm going to see if I can resurrect them by adding a couple of frames of brood from the other hive and hopefully, with any luck, they'll be able to generate their own queen assuming I've been able to get the wax moth under control and they can build up their numbers before the wax moth actually um, infiltrates the hive yet again <laughs> 